I was in a discussion with a middle-aged man that was having some doors open to him just a few months ago. And he was talking about these doors that were being opened to him and how he was, he was a little self-conscious about it and wasn't very aggressive with it and, and wasn't taking advantage of it. And I responded to him similar to the way I responded to the, to the person that sent me that email. I said, look, the Spirit of the Lord is on you and God's going to use you in your lifetime. You've got to be humble enough to get on the platform. And you've got to be humble enough to take the microphone and, and do what is being required of you right now. This, this humility thing, you're misreading it. Humility doesn't mean you're unable to take leadership. Humility doesn't mean you do a sloppy job. Humility doesn't mean you're inferior in any way. Humility means that you respond in an appropriate way to the opportunities that are given you and that you have the confidence in Christ to be able to lead without being self-centered and arrogant. And so get up, take the microphone, humble yourself, and do what's being required of you right now. Well, since that time, that young man has really done a good job. And now, when I'm kind of following him and seeing what he's doing, I, I know his heart. He's a fine young man with a humble heart. But he's now, with confidence, taking appropriate leadership, writing, speaking, doing what's necessary, and he's doing a good job. But not because he's demanding. It's because he's being a faithful steward to the open doors that are in front of him. And so this humility thing is a very interesting thing and very complicated thing because I, I did a lot of work with the, um, not a lot of work with, I spent a lot of time in relationship with some of the Mennonite leadership uh, uh, two or three years ago. And it was very interesting to work with them because in their culture, the greatest sin is arrogance. And so humility is a high, high value. And because of humility being such a high value, nobody will make a decision. And when people do make a decision, people still have judgmental opinions about it, but they communicate it in such a sloppy, wishy-washy way, it doesn't improve anything. And so when we were talking, when I was involved with talking with the leadership about it, I said, you all need more courage. You all need to be able to lead your own group because you've distorted humility into being a lack of leadership. And with a lack of leadership, actually, it's your pride that's keeping you from leading this thing. People are looking to you for godly leadership. Read your Bible and lead. Say something. Write something. Do something right now. There's nothing inside of you. It's like, it's like jello. And it changed their leadership style. And they were able to stand up a little bit and able to do some things with their group and able to do some things with their network of churches. And they started becoming a little more substantive.